Hello everyone, welcome back to Matrix Lecture Series. In the last lecture, we completed the exercise 3.2. Today, we are going to begin the discussion with section 3.5, which is talk about transpose of a matrix. So let's get started. Here is the topic of transpose of a matrix. Now, first comes the definition. What do what do we mean by transpose of a matrix? Basically, transpose of a matrix is simply interchanging the rows and columns of the matrix. Suppose it is given here as the example. Suppose if A is some matrix given to us, then if we want to transpose it, then transposition will make the new matrix as the interchanged one in which the rows and columns are interchanged. Okay, basically this row will become a new column. This second row will become a column. This third row will become a column. In the process of changing the rows to column, your columns will automatically become row. So you need not to do both the things. You just need to change the rows to column or change the column to row. As a result, your interchange will happen and you will get a transposed matrix. Okay. Now, how do we denote it? We denote it in this way. Okay. This is the denotion of a transpose of a matrix. One thing in which I am more interested in explaining you is this part. Very often students ignore this part. Actually, this is the mathematical way of representing or explaining you the transposition of a matrix. Let me explain you very simply. Basically, here it is written that, that if, okay, let me write it somewhere else. Okay, let me write it here. If A is A i j m by n, then A bar become A j i n by m. Now two things that you must have to observe here is that this m by n become n by m. The order has changed. Now the reason which you might give me that why the order has changed is because of the interchanging of rows and column. This is the correct reason. But the interchange of rows and column does not directly link to this change in order. It is indirectly linked to the change in order. How? Let me explain you. See, when you interchange the row to the column, what is eventually happening? The row becomes a column, right? So if I have 10 rows, then in my transposed matrix, as you can also see here, I have three rows. Then in the transposed matrix, I got three columns. Okay, so if I have 10 rows in my transposed matrix, I get 10 columns. Here you can see, I have two columns. So in my transposed matrix, due to interchanging, the row becomes a column. So if I have two columns, then the, I in the transposed matrix, I will get two rows. Therefore, the number of columns becomes the number of rows and the number of rows becomes the number of columns. That is the reason why M by N changed to N by N. Okay, because the rows get into column and the column will become the row. If I have 10 rows, that will make up the 10 columns. If I have 5 columns, that will make up the 5 rows in my transpose matrix. Therefore, the rows and columns, the, are, the number of rows and the number of columns has changed. I hope this is clear to you. Now, there is another thing which is different in both these is this IA, IJ and JI. Now, why this is changing? Actually, the position of the element is changing from IJ to JI. Let me again explain you with this example. See, notice here the element 5, the entry 5. The position of this is basically 1, 2. This is A, 1, 2 element, right? First row and second column, okay? Okay. Now, in my transposed matrix, it's become here. What is this position? Second row, first column. So this has become A21. Now you can see here the A12 become A21. Right. Similarly, you can observe other also. Observe this 0. What is the position? 
this is basically third row first column so this is a31 which is 0 now 0 become here what is this position this is first row and third column that is a13 right so you can see a31 becomes a13 this is how why a i j becomes a j i right i hope this is clear to you now let's see the properties these properties are very important the properties of transposition of a matrix are very very important let's see one by one it says that if you transpose some matrix and then again transport it you can get the original matrix this is very simple to understand while transposing what we are doing we are interchanging the row and columns right now in my interchanged row and column matrix if i again interchange it i will get the original matrix right if you examine this this a transpose okay and if i again try to find a transpose transpose what i will do this row i will make it to the column so this will become like this this row will become this column and this second row will become second column 5 1 minus 1 by 5 so is this and this are not same indeed they are same so this is the reason why a transpose whole transpose becomes the original matrix because again i am explaining again i am repeating that when we transpose some matrix we interchange row to column now if i again transpose it the column will again become a row so it is the row in the original matrix therefore the transposition of a transpose matrix is the original matrix i hope it is clear second if i multiply some scalar to a matrix and then find a transpose it is same as transposing the matrix first and then multiplying the scalar again let me explain you with the help of this example only if i suppose multiply this a with uh, 2 okay let me find 2a so what it will become it will become 6 here 10 2 root 3 2 0 minus 2 upon 5 okay this is 2a if i find the transpose of it okay if i find the transpose of 8 then this 2a this 2a transpose what it will become see this row will become a column okay so i get my column new column as 6 10 second row become second column that is 2 root 3 2 okay and third row will become the third column that is 0 minus 2 by 5 okay this is one way i here what i have done i have first multiplied the scalar then find the transpose now let me first find the transpose and then multiply with the scalar here i have the transpose i have the transpose let me multi multiply it with 2 if i find 2 a transpose what i will get 6 2 root 3 0 10 2 minus 2 upon 5 now see whether this and this are same or not 6 2 root 3 0 6 2 root 3 0 10 2 minus 2 by 5 10 2 minus 2 by 5 so yes they are same hence what we can conclude we can conclude this property that either multiply first and then transpose or transpose first then multiply you will get the same matrix now what is the logic behind it what is the a general logic a common sense that is applying behind it the reason is that when we are multiplying a scalar we are multiplying that scalar with each and every term right we multiply each and every entry with that scalar now if i transpose it that means if i interchange the row and column in that case also my multiplication factor my scalar will remain as it is there right so there is no change in that multiplication factor as a result my multiplication factor can be taken common out of it right this is the reason why we are able to get the same matrices in both the cases i have also explained you with the help of example now let's move to the next property the third property 
it says that A plus B whole transpose is A transpose plus B transpose. Basically, while adding the two matrices, it regardless that in which way we are transposing. Either first add the matrix, then transpose, or first transpose it, then add the matrix. It doesn't cause any harm. Similarly, we can also see the example of it. We can see the example in this question, right? In this question, we will see, we will discuss, okay? First, uh, let me finish this property, the last property, which says that if we multiply two matrices and then transpose it, then the resultant will be same as B transpose and A transpose. Now, this is very important property. Often we get confused that whether a b transpose will be a transpose b transpose or b transpose a transpose now this need to be this thing that you need to be remember that a b whole transpose okay sorry yes a b whole transpose will be b transpose a transpose not a transpose b transpose you can remember this in this way that while we will dealing with the inverses when we find the a b whole inverse this is equals to b inverse a inverse so you can make a common uh, sentiment that when we multiply the two matrices and do transposition or find the inverse then in the case of multiplication we get first b matrix the second matrix and then first matrix but in case of addition this order remains the same I mean that A plus B, if I have A plus B and I am finding transpose it, then it will become A transpose plus B transpose. Okay. There is one more thing. If I even write it B transpose plus A transpose, does it make any change? No, it will not because we are adding. So when we are adding, we are basically adding the corresponding entries, right? So even if in your exam, the examiner try to confuse you that A plus B transpose that A plus B transpose is equals to B transpose plus A transpose. If he asks whether this is correct or not, then you can write yes, it is also correct because here we here we are dealing in the addition. So in addition, it won't affect the order in which we are adding because after all, we are going to add the entries, the corresponding entries. So it will not change right we will see it here also we will cross check it here also whether this is correct or not we will get a hint whether this is correct or not in this example now let's move to this example which is example number 20 what does it say it says that if i have matrix some some matrix a and some matrix b then i have to verify these properties these all properties which i have discussed you we have to verify these now a transpose whole transpose you can yourself do i have already explained you this is my A matrix. You can easily find the transpose by interchanging the row to column. Okay. And then again find the transpose. You will see that this is nothing but the A original matrix. Right. Now, hence in this way, uh, you will reach to this conclusion. Now, second part. Second part says uh, in the second part, we have to prove this. Okay. Now, A is this matrix. B is this matrix. A plus B is this matrix. Okay. Fine. And A B whole transpose is this okay you can easily find because how you can find you you can first find the a b okay you can first find a plus b you can you very well know how we add the matrices then transpose this row to a column this row to another column in this way you get the transposed matrix okay individually find the a transpose and b transpose in the similar manner convert this row into a column convert this row into a new column you will get a transpose matrix Similarly, you can find B transpose and then add both of these. Now, if I try to find B transpose plus A transpose, what it will be? It will be 3 and 2, 5. I will add, uh, let me erase. Okay. I will add these two. I will get 3 to 5. I will add this and this, which is again 5. This and this, which is root 3 minus 1. Root 3 minus 1 this and this 2 to 4 this and this again 4 this and this which is again 4 so are they same yes they are same so 
the way in which we add it doesn't affect either add a transpose then b transpose or to add b transpose with a transpose it doesn't change because we are addition we are doing addition therefore if the examiner tries to confuse you by writing that whether this is correct or not then you need not to confuse you can surely report it yes it is also correct okay fine let's move ahead part 3 in we, in this part we have to find uh, if we have to prove this actually if we are multiplying some scalar and then transposing it it should be same as first transposing and then multiplying okay so here uh, we have multiply k in the b matrix if i multiply k in the b matrix i get this you know how we multiply the scalar okay then first uh, find the transpose how we will find transpose convert this row into a column this row into another column okay this is how we will find the transposition of a matrix now this is what i was saying to you when we are transposing it a matrix which has multiplied with some scalar now in when we are transposing it the terms will remain multiplied with that factor and we can take common of that factor we can take that factor out here the author has also done the same thing the kb transposes this matrix okay it is this matrix you can see the factor remain multiplied when we have transposed it so we can take the factor out and this is what we are left with we left with the b transpose right i hope now the thing is making much more sense to you okay with this this example is also finished let's move to example 21 example 21 says i have a matrix and i have b matrix i have to verify that whether this is correct or not now let's try this first what i have to do i have to find a b now break it into parts make it simpler and simpler i have to verify this okay so first my task is to find this part in this part also i have to first find a b i have a i have b i know how i multiply how i multiply two matrices i will find a b but before multiplying i will first check the whether the multiplication is even possible or not so in a you can see the order is three by one the order of b matrix is one by three so the number of column and the number of rows are same so we can very easily multiply this multiplication is well defined so uh, i can find a b then this is a b i can now find a b inverse okay a b inverse they have later find it but we can find it earlier also no problem at all we can find it here a b inverse what will a b inverse this row will become a new column this row will take the position of a column okay and next row will become next column similarly my third column will be this and here at this position it is minus 30 okay now let's go to this part what this part have this part have b transpose and a transpose multiplication so i will first find b transpose this is my b transpose this is my a transpose then i will multiply it accordingly which is given to me i get which matrix i get uh, this matrix is it same to this matrix check check each and every entry yes it is same so what we have proved we have proved that either multiply first then transpose or first transpose it then multiply you will going to get the same answer but remember the order first i am multiplying b transpose then a transpose this in the earlier in the original i have a into b but as a resultant i am getting b transpose into a transpose instead of a transpose into b transpose this is something that you need to remember and you can also uh, you need not to remember actually you can see this example here it is very well established that this is so right i hope it is clear to you now that's all for today thanks for watching have a nice day